So I was thinking of waiting an additional week before doing another one of these updates just because of the holiday. And uh, I had a little extra time. Turns out Pilot opened four new locations in the past week, so I decided to go ahead and do the update. Here's the uh, map from the Pilot app that shows the current open sites. And let me just go over the four that are new. It's this one here in Washington, this one here in Missouri, uh, down in Southern Florida, and uh, what is the fourth one? Um, Houston? Oh, no, no, no. It's um, this one right here in uh, Georgetown, Kentucky, north of uh, Louisville. So let's go over the update. And if you look at this map, um, let me see if I could zoom out. Uh, this map and this map, you can see the dots are starting to line up. So like these two dots are these two dots here. And um, down in Oklahoma, the dots are starting to line up. So the original infograph and the newer infograph with these white dots, um, it's pretty clear that so far uh, nothing outside of these dots has opened. And conceivably, if the plan goes um, forward as intended, um, these white dots will be completed by the end of 2024, which will constitute about 300 of the goal of 500. And then conceivably in 2025, they'll finish out the project. Q3 earnings report, slide deck number 11, slide number 11 in the deck, uh, bullet point number three indicates 25 to be completed by the end of this year, December 31st, 250 next year which would be about 20 per month opening. Um, and by my indication, we're, we're lining up towards that 25 uh, being completed by the end of this year. So if that's true, that means we could look forward to about 20 per month opening next year. They're not only uh, putting chargers in the ground, they're also updating the signage on the interstates uh, to indicate EV charging at pilots now. Uh, this one was taken by me at uh, Brazelton, Georgia, off Interstate 85, uh, about a two weeks ago. We're now at 3.4%. And if we get to the um, 25, this will be 5% by December 31st. I've updated the means of presenting um, what's open and what's not. I'm going to drop my picture here uh, so we can get it clean. Um, into a table format because things are starting to get a little bit messy with the way I was doing it before and I just thought a table would be a little bit easier to represent. I am keeping things in the time zones sorted from north to south. Anything new uh, I highlighted in yellow. Okay, um, also if there is a site visit video, uh, Mr. Zero E Michigan YouTuber released a second site visit video of the Perrysburg, Ohio. I'm going to link that down below in the description. Um, this time he did a plug and charge without having to register. He just showed up and he also had a trailer, which was kind of a novel uh, take to the uh, site visit video because it's a pull through uh, site. Um, Georgetown, Kentucky, I've got a picture of it is a canopy location. Uh, no uh, pricing reports yet, but it flipped open very abruptly uh, during the holiday weekend. South Bay, Florida, which is the southernmost uh, location, uh, is now open south of Lake Okeechobee. Boonville, Missouri, uh, which is an I-70 between um, Kansas City and St. Louis, is now open. Um, it's not updated on the PlugShare map, but you can see it in the Pilot app and also the EVgo app is being open. And Ellensburg, Washington is the first one in the state of Washington, it is now open on Interstate 90, uh, not too far from the Post Falls, Idaho uh, location. Um, so let me just go through these and pause really quick in each one of the time zones. Here's Eastern time zone, locations that are currently open. Again, the total is 17 with 11 pilot, 6 flying J. Here's the central time zone and the mountain time zones. And the Pacific time zone. Spotted under construction, 
the number has actually decreased because of the four that flipped took uh, three out of this location. Um, I think I've got one additional one. But the Eisenberg, Washington, I did, Ellensburg, Washington, I actually didn't know about this location being under construction. It went from being spotted under construction to open in just a few days. And it just goes to prove the point that the uh, sleeper sites, there's a lot of sleeper sites out there. Eastern time zone under construction. I'm going to pause here. Um, there was a little bit of update on the Pittston, uh, Pennsylvania one. Not only was it confirmed under construction, YouTuber Plug and Play EV, a friend of the channel, Steve, confirmed that it's also being funded with NEVI funds. Um, so this is the first Pennsylvania NEVI funded site um, going in at a pilot flying J. Ah, Joplin, Missouri was the new one. That's correct. So let me pause in the central time zone. These are all the ones spotted under construction. A new one was spotted in Joplin, Missouri. No pictures yet. Nothing spotted under construction in the mountain or Pacific time zones. And the state funding report uh, lists is unchanged. None of these have flipped yet. I did take the Pittston, Pennsylvania one off, which should have been taken off last time. Um, did take it off this time. Quickly go through the photos. Perrysburg, Ohio. Um, as you can see, the 0E Michigan site visit with a trailer is going to make this site shine because pull through parking is very conducive to people pulling trailers and EVs, which he was doing at the time. Williamsburg, Kentucky. Uh, Ardmore, Oklahoma. Crazy Postman did a site visit video. Knoxville, Tennessee, very close to the Pilot Flying J headquarters. And this Georgetown, Kentucky one is the one that flipped to being open. And these are pictures recently taken that I grabbed off uh, PlugShare of people actually charging. Um, looks like three Rivians. So I guess a Rivian <laughs> club or something showed up. Not quite sure, but it's uh, exciting times when you get to charge your electric vehicle underneath a canopy. And you can do that now. This is on the I-75 corridor. And strangely enough, you could drive just about from Detroit, Michigan to the Pilot Flying J headquarters in Knoxville on Interstate 75 using just these stations except for one space in Ohio and once they fill that in and it looks like they're kind of prioritizing that I-75 corridor once they fill that in you'll be able to drive all the way from Detroit to Knoxville using just these stations. Warrington, Missouri just about ready it looks like. Peculiar, Missouri this one's got a little bit longer to go Anthony, Texas. This one's rounding out to completion. I'm banking it's going to be done before the 31st of December and be one of the first 25. Castleton on the Hudson um, grabbed this photo from PlugShare courtesy of uh, Steve at Plug and Play AV uh, Canopy. Likely after the snow thaws, we'll be charging happily underneath the canopy for the spring rains to not affect us. Amarillo, Texas in the Panhandle. Not too far from completion. Uh, you can see the chargers here. It looks like the foundation for the transformer. I don't know if the transformer's in place yet. New Candy, Texas. This one is north of Houston. And I would like to discuss the picture that Steve posted from Plug and Play EV about the uh, Piston, Pennsylvania. And if you look at this signage that says Owl E-Mobility. Someone else also chimed in um, um, Brandon Flash, who is kind of on the inside of deploying these stations, uh, he's, uh, his profession uh, works with the implementation of DC fast chargers, and he mentioned OWL mobility, and it kind of piqued my interest trying to figure out what this is. So apparently the way it works is OWL e-mobility, uh, there's an OWL uh, a company that will take care of convenience store builds, but I guess they have a division called eMobility, which is doing uh, DC fast charger implementations for convenience store owners. So I guess the way it works is you hand them a sack of coins and off they go and they do their job um, on your properties. Um, and I think Circle K and Pilot and Flying J are both using OWL eMobility in order to do their implementations. So I always thought that it was like project planning within the um, operations room of uh, Pilot Flying J headquarters where these um, uh, implementations were occurring. But it looks like uh, the way it works is a third party 
is uh, the one actually doing the implementations. Uh, so that was a bit of information that got conveyed this past week. So anyway, the big news is on a holiday week, uh, Pilot Corp opened four new locations in Washington, Missouri, Florida, and Kentucky. Let me go back up to the very top. I'll close out with the map. And let me move my big head out of the way so we can get the Florida one. There we go. Thanks for watching.